हाय हेलो नमस्ते माय नेम इज अभिषेक पाठक दिस इज ऊब्स डॉट नेट ऊब्स इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर विद प्रैक्टिकल वीडियो सीरीज दिस इज द पार्ट वन इन दिस डॉट नेट ऊब्स पार्ट वन आई विल बी कवरिंग फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन लाइक वॉट इज डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क डिफरेंट वर्जन ऑफ डॉट नेट वॉट इज लेटेस्ट डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क एंड विजुअल स्टूडियो अवेलेबल वॉट इज ऑब्जेक्ट एंड हाउ वी कैन डिक्लेयर द ऑब्जेक्ट important oops concept what is class and how we can declare the class so let's understand what is the dot net framework so dot net the full form of dot net is network enabled technology which provides the facility to develop run and deploy the dot net based application dot net also prov provides the interoperability between different platform here interoperability means we can develop the dot net based application for different platform like windows xp windows 7 uh, windows 10 etc also here we need to remember dot net is developed by microsoft it is a product of dot net and if we want to develop any particular application in dot net then we need one tool and that tool is known as ide integrated development environment and for dot net microsoft has provided visual studio so whenever anyone wants to develop the application that person has to use the visual studio so now let's understand uh, different versions of dot net are available so before uh, dot net there were few uh tools and programming languages were available so first one was visual source safe visual fox pro okay then visual basic 3 then visual c++ and uh, earlier that there was visual studio version 4.0 was available but actually dot net is started in 2002 year so first dot net framework was uh, 1.0 which was launched in feb 13 2002 Okay, then 1.1, 2.0, 3.0, 3.5, 4.0, like that, and the latest one is 4.6. And what is the latest Visual Studio? Uh, Visual Studio 2015 is available till I'm creating the this video. So uh, if anyone ask what is the latest framework is available, so your answer should be 4.6. And what is the latest Visual Studio? It's 2015. Okay. then we have to understand what is oops okay so oops is it is known as object oriented programming language oops mainly works on classes and object here we have to pay attention it mainly works on a classes and objects and oops has some important co concept like classes objects inheritance polymorphism abstraction and encapsulation these everything we will be doing the practical to understand class object and, and other concept okay but uh, if in interview you are asked what is oops so you may answer this question okay so okay then since we have uh, some important topics so in this uh, video we will be covering what is class and object so let's understand what is class so a class is construct that enables you to create your own custom types by grouping together variable of other types methods and event a class is like a blueprint it defines the data and behavior of a type for example suppose you have one entity maybe that the name of that entity is employee and you want Uh, that employ in programming terms so what you will do you will create one class and class will the name of that class will be employ and in that class you will be having different members properties functions variables so suppose first name last name and uh, for example you want to retrieve the uh, details of that employee so you might have one function also get uh, employee details so there everything will be defined in a class So now let's understand how we can create the class. So syntax of class is first we have to define the access modifier. Then class, class is a keyword and we have to give the class. In dot net we have to use this curly braces and this is this defines the scope of a class. And uh, so suppose I want to create one employee class. This public is access modifier. This is a um, class keyword and this is known as a class name okay and then we have to understand what is object 
so object an object is basically an instance of class it is used to allocate the memory for particular class and if you want to access the class member again i will repeat if you want to access the member of particular class then you have to create that the object of that class and how we can declare the class syntax for uh, object is you have to give the class name then object name then use new keyword then class name and these brackets when we say new so you are creating the op memory for this so object and uh, as i declare one class here employee okay and how you can create the object of that employee 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 is a class name then object name and then this keyword okay now let's understand practically how we can create the project so uh, for uh, to understand oops interview what we will be doing we will be uh, using the console application okay so open the visual studio click here new project you will see here console so let's give the console first okay and uh, let's create the project so we are creating the console application to understand how we can create the classes and object okay so it is creating the project and uh, as i said visual studio is ide and uh, for that you need to install the visual studio so let's understand how we can create the class so right click okay you have to right click say add and you can choose new item or class i'm using the visual studio 2013 ultimate and uh, you can say class here you have to give the class name okay so let's give the name of employee okay so when we say employee so uh, by doing this it has created one class so as you can see so by default uh, access modifier is not specified so public class and this one okay so our class name is employee and if i want to create the object of the class how i can do so here you can say public oh, sorry employee EMP is equal to so this is the way to create the object so maybe for fresher guy uh, it is asked how we can create the object of class so this is the syntax of the class so i hope you have liked uh, this video in upcoming video series i will be covering lots of important oops interview question answer with practical and if you have any questions suggestion uh, just comment and if you want me to cover any specific topic then also you can uh, suggest in comment thanks for watching bye